Okay, uh, just to reiterate, we are still at the data link layer, the second layer, um, just above physical and below network. So we're not talking about networking quite yet, but there are different concepts that sound very much like they should be at the networking layer, um, such as uh, media access and so we're going to talk about that, um, but, uh, uh, okay, um, the data link layer is, is where you do the link encryption. Um, we can't do end-to-end -end encryption, um, because, well, un unless this is the only link that we are dealing with, um, you know. If, if that's it, if we're not on a network, if we're just in a point-to-point -point situation, okay, yes, uh, the, the data link layer, we can apply encryption. We can protect what's going on. But in a full network, when we're talking about the full stack, uh, when we're talking about the Internet, what we can do at the data link layer is the, um, the link encryption. And, and this is the type of thing that goes on with Tor, for example, onion routing uh, and we'll talk ab about that uh, a bit more later in in terms of um, wrapping uh, packets in encryption to protect them um, and uh, in fact uh, protecting them from people even finding out where they are going now uh, as uh, has become obvious there are uh, ways and means around this. It's, it's definitely not guaranteed, depending on how you implement the onion routing. Um, if you are not careful, um, people can uh, place sensors at or near uh, entry and exit points to the onion routing network and um, can, you know, build a fairly comprehensive map of what connections are being done. So, uh, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll take that uh, as read for the moment and, and uh, I'll get on with some of the other things. Um, oh, uh, yeah, error detection uh, can take place at, at the data link layer. Generally speaking, you don't put um, a, a correction in at this point. Um, I suppose there isn't any particular reason that you couldn't do that, um, but it just, you know, it hasn't been done traditionally. Um, and, you know, generally speaking, you're more concerned with um, uh, correction when you're dealing with end-to-end, -end higher layers, application level stuff anyways. So, uh, we will uh, again, uh, leave that and, uh, get on to the network access. Now, you know, as I was saying, network access, we're talking about networking. Well, we're not talking about networking yet. We're, we're talking about the access just to, um, the media, to the data link. And, uh, so we have, uh, you know, when I, when I do this in a classroom, we would have, uh, you know, I'd, I'd start going around, okay, you know, Frank, do you have anything to say? Joan, do you have anything to say? Rez, do you have anything to say? You know, that is what is known as polling. And that is one type of control of, of media access. And uh, that is a situation where um, the... Uh, Say con central controller, and it, you know, basically got to be centralized. Knows what devices are connected, and uh, sends a notification to them that if they wish to transmit, they can do that now. Um, so then there is the um, token passing. Um, which I tend to refer to as the First Nations Protocol. This is the idea of the talking stick. That um, 
if you have the token, you can speak, you can transmit. If you do not have the token, no, you, you, uh, it's not your turn to speak. And uh, so this is uh, uh, very often done in, in ring networks. Um, you know, we, we talk about token ring almost as if it's the same thing. It's not necessarily, but uh, this is the concept that there is a token. When you, you know, grab the token, you can speak. Uh, when you finished, you release it and somebody else can then grab it. Um, so then there's Ethernet um, and it's carrier sense multiple access collision detection. This is the cocktail party protocol. Um, we're at a we're at a party. Um, everybody uh, wants to talk, but of course, you know, only one person can talk at a time, at least in a small group. Uh, if you, you know, have multiple parties talking, uh, nobody can understand what's being said. So, uh, you, uh, you're at the cocktail party, you want to talk, um, you first have to listen. And when you listen, um, you, uh, you know, when there is a break in the conversation, um, then you can talk. So that is the uh, carrier sense part, is the, the listening. And uh, so multiple access, of course, everybody wants to talk. And collision detection. If two people start talking at the same time, then one, well, both of them stop. Um, they detect a collision. They hear that somebody else is talking. So they both stop. And then uh, randomly, um, you know, one will start talking before the other one does, and, and that person gets the channel. So that, that is uh, CSMACD, Carrier Sense, Multiple Access with Collision Detection. And that is, uh, as I say, you know, cocktail party protocol. Uh, this is what we do with, with Ethernet. Um, uh, Wi-Fi uses... Uh, uh, similar situation, although collision avoidance. Um, every uh, people wanting to talk, bro uh, listen, but also broadcast. Um, and if they don't hear a conflicting uh, broadcast, uh, having uh, broadcast for a uh, certain amount of time, they know that nobody else, you know, everybody else will, would have heard them start broadcasting. Uh, just a tone. It's it's not se actually sending any data. And, uh, you know, if they do hear uh, anything, then they don't, uh, you know, they cease broadcasting, and that avoids collisions.